Section 12A reads, A small scale farmer wishes to keep sheep and goats. Let X represent the number of sheep and Y represent the number of goats. Then the question proceeds. Write the inequalities which represent each of the following conditions. A. The number of sheep should not be more than 4. So let us read out the question again. A small scale farmer wishes to keep sheep and goat. So that's the first thing that you need to take note. So there is sheep. There is also goat and goats. Then the question proceeds. Let X represent the number of sheep and Y represent the number of goats. So X represents the number of sheep and Y represents the number of goats. Now we can answer question A. The number of sheep should not be more than 4. So we know that sheep is represented by x. So we say x should not be more than 4. So that is going to be less than or equal to 4. That's our first inequality. Let us look at b. So b reads, a goat feeds on 4 kg of food while a sheep feeds on 2 kg of food per day. The total amount of food should be at least 8 kg per day. So, we have been told that the goat feeds on 4 kg of food. That's the first thing. So, we're going to say, we'll say 4y since uh, the goat represents uh, x. Then the question proceeds, while a sheep feeds on 2 kg of food, so I'll say plus 2x, since x represents uh, the ships. Then the question proceeds further, the total amount of food should be at least 8 kg per day. So at least means that not less than. So this will be greater than or equal to eight so that's our second inequality then let us look at the other inequality which is c the number of sheep should be more than the number of goats so the number of sheep should be more than the number of goats so that is c the number of sheep which is x should be more than the number of goats so that is going to be greater than or equal to y and you can write it in this form y is less than or equal to x so that means that we have answered Roman numeral 1 a b and c let us look at Roman numeral Two. Roman numeral 2 reads using a scale of 2 cm to represent one unit on both axes draw the x and y axes for for which x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 5 and y is greater than or equal to 0 but uh, less than or equal to 5 and shade the unwanted region to indicate to indicate clearly the region where the solution of the inequalities lies so we need to shade the unwanted region and considering these inequalities that we have written we have three we have x is less than or equal to four then we also have four four y plus two x is greater than or equal to eight so for this one we need to write some of the coordinates but these two a and c can just be drawn so let us find the coordinates that we are going to plot so for b which is 
4y plus 2x is greater than or equal to 8. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to replace this with an equal sign. So I'll say 4y plus 2x is equal to 8. And we can we can observe from here that we can divide by 2 uh, in all the numbers. So I'll say divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. And the reason why I'm dividing by 2, I'm trying to simplify this. So 4 into 2 uh 2 into 4 that's 2y plus 2 into 2 that's x is equals to 2 into 8 that's 4. then let us write this small table So I have my x, I have my y, so if it's x is 0, I don't know y, and if y is 0, I don't know x. So if we re replace here where there is x 0, so we say 2y plus x is equals to 4. When we replace with 0 here, we're going to have 2y plus 0 is equal to 4. That means we're going to have 2y is equal to 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2. y is equal to 4 divide by 2, that's 2. So I'll have a 2 here. Then where y is equal to 0, let us find x. So I have 2y plus x is equal to 4. 2 multiplied by 0 plus x is equal to 4. So you have 0 plus x is equals to 4. So I have x is equals to 4. So I have these two coordinates 0, 2. I also have 4, 0. And since we have these coordinates, we can now plot our graph. So as you can see from the graph, I've already written the x-axis and the y-axis and we've been told that one unit must represent two centimeters and for the x-axis uh, it says x is greater than or equal to uh, zero but less than or equal to five so I've drawn my one two three four five I've also done the same to the Y axis. So the first inequality that I'm going to write is x is less than or equal to 4. So before I write x is less than or equal to 4, I know that x is equals to 4, it is this line. So as you can see from the graph, that is x is equals to 4. But we have the inequality which says x is less than or equal to 4 and we know that less than or equal to 4 that is on the left side and since in the question we have been told to shade the we have been told to shade the unwanted region so that means that we are going to shade on the right side so that represents uh, x is less than or equal to 4. Let us go to the next inequality which is 4y plus uh, which is 2y plus x is uh, greater than or equal to 8 and uh, we had found some of the coordinates so the first coordinate was 0 comma 2 and the second coordinate was 4 comma 0 so to write that inequality i'm going to write it i'll uh, write that uh, inequality on this graph i'll write it in this way so as you can see i've written i've written my second inequality which is uh which is 2y plus x is greater than 
or uh, is greater than or equal to 4 so and since we have greater than or equal to that means that we are supposed we were supposed to shade when the uh, upper part but we are supposed to shade the opposite side and that means we're going to shade below so that's our second inequality which is 4y plus 2x is greater than or equal to 8 let us look at the third and the final inequality which is y is less than or equal to x so this can be drawn in this form and the other inequalities y is less than or equal to x which i've just drawn this line and since we have less than or equal to that means it is on the bottom part so to shade the unwanted region we're going to shade on the upper part and you can and, and as you can see and as you can see region x represents the unshaded region and th that's where our solutions lie where you have questions you can ask in the group thank you